how to run ads on Instagram. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can run ads on Instagram. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So first things first, what you want to do is you want to make sure that your Instagram account is actually either a business account or a professional account. And as you can see, I already did that. If you don't know how to do that, all you got to do is click on this cob wheel or the settings icon. And then what you want to do is I already have the professional account settings over here. You might have another option right here right you want to go into account types and in that account type you want to change your account type to either a business account or a professional account and once you've done that you should be good to go i already did all the settings so once you have done that all you have to do is go into your account type and then you will choose whether or not you want to have a business account or a professional account i already chose the professional account so we are good to go and you will also have the account center right here which you can go ahead and open up and here you will be able to access all of your accounts currently this is the profile that we have over here and here you can see you have all the options so we have add account over here option personal account ad preference are going to be over here if you click on ad preference you can see what type of ad preference you want any topic or you know you can manage your information right here now in order to run ads onto your instagram account first make sure you have a business or professional account next what you want to do is you want to go over to facebook business suite now once you're over here right you're gonna want to log in with your facebook account or with your instagram account or create a new account all right i'm already here log in with the managed meta account you can see right here so what i'll do is i'll just simply go ahead and log in with my instagram account click on login as this account accept their terms and conditions and we should be good to go and once you logged in you should be good to go so here as you can see i'm logged in into the business setting of facebook.business in the meta suite and we can see this is how it looks like now over here on the left hand side you will see you have a bunch of different options you have home notification inbox content planner and you have ads this is what we need to do over here now you can do the exact same method when you log into your facebook account and then you have to switch over to instagram so it's a little bit longer process so it's much better to just sign in with your instagram account and once you click on the ads account over here or the ads section on this navigation bar you can see you have this option right here so you have ad summary and then you have all ads here you can get started and you can run your ads right here you can go ahead and create an ad and here you have the ad manager so let me just open it up it's going to take us over to the new tab and open it up in another tab you can set up or link to an ad account over here if you do this you will need to sign in with your facebook account and then you know sign in with your ads account but we already did that so now all we'll do is click on get started right here or click on all ads and click on create ad and once we've done that, it's going to open us here where we have to go ahead and add account we needed to boost posts. So link our meta ad account or create an Instagram business ad account to run ads, right? So we're going to click over here. Now we can go ahead and choose which account to go with. Choose whichever account you can go with. It depends on you. If you go with the meta account, you got to log into your Facebook account to use your saved payment methods and settings for your meta account. If you go with the Instagram, a new ad account will be created for you and connected to your Instagram account. So you'll need to add new payment information and reset the ad setting. So it depends on you which you want. So it depends on you which one you want. But yeah, the process after that is going to be the exact same thing. But I want to choose the instagram business ad account so that i can have a separate account for instagram even though they're going to be on the meta account but you know let's see how different it is to facebook so now that it's successfully created now we can go ahead and click on continue i should be done so now i think if i go back or you know reset or restart the page it should work all right so here we go so all i had to do was click on the ad manager and it's going to open up in the nether tab so here we go so except over here you got all the license agreements so you gotta just read them and click on accept and thank you for accepting there you go so here is your ads account for your instagram so here you get to set up your ad account or ad campaign and then run it so here you will be able to create the campaign for your ads here you have the campaign trends all right publish a new campaign to see trends over here and here you can turn on automatic adjustment to optimize your campaign performance let's go ahead and create an ad campaign over here so we'll click on the create campaign button give it a couple of seconds and here you basically have the ad campaign settings so here you can see all the preferences here you will have the name so you can go ahead and add the name for your instagram ads campaign 
I'll just leave it at that, remove the date. You have the special ad category over here. You can add different categories. You have the A-B testing. You have the conversion location over here and your audience definition. You got to make sure that it's not too broad, not too specific. You got to find the sweet spot, all right? If it's too broad, it's going to be cheaper, but you won't get as you know accurate results. But if it's more specific, it's going to be much, much ex more expensive, but you'll also get good conversion and good reach as well so make sure you find that sweet spot for you so here you have the conversion locations whether you want it to be a website instagram direct messages or profile or calls you have your daily budget over here you have your start date and over here you can see all of the other locations and other information as well so let's get into it let's go ahead and start editing it out so here are your preset settings right uh, we can go ahead and leave it as they are we have the name we have the categorize your ads over here we can declare which category if it is applied to so we have credit employment housing or whatever you want ads for job offers internship professional certification programs and other related opportunities credit card offers and loans or for social issues right if you don't want to you can leave it at as it is then you have conversions here what type of conversion location you want so choose where you want to drive your traffic to if it's for you know dms select dms if it's for a website select website it very it literally depends on you if you go with website you're gonna have to add a website link if you go with instagram dms then you'll just have to select the account and if it's for instagram profiles again select the account calls are going to be very similar but the cost of each of them is going to be different so keep that in mind so let's select the website right let's go ahead and select website and here we'll set the daily budget it's a little bit different so over here this is like about eight dollars right here so we'll leave it at that that is a good starting point you can go with ten dollars as well then you have your scheduling so what type of scheduling you want whether you want to beginning date or end date and then you have budget scheduling as well you can increase your budget during specific time period so you can go ahead and figure that out but this i think would be better if once you've run a few ads and you've gathered enough data so that you can see at which specific time you gather more audience on which dates and then you can go ahead and increase the budget so that you can get more audience in those specific time zones and you can even decrease the budget at specific times or dates then you have location here you have to set the location so as i said before remember the more broad you go the more it's going to be cheaper but the more narrow you go the more it's going to be you know expensive so currently our audience size is over here because it's way too much broad but this is the amount of reach you can see right here it's not that good right so we only get five to one thousand people even though that our estimated audience is around 200 million so you can see right here from 178 million to 210 million, but we only get like 500 to 1.5 K reaches. So we got to fix that. So to do that, to fix this, all you got to do is add more locations over here. So we've already selected the United States. That's good. Within the United States, let's say we want to specifically target Boston, Boston, New York. There you go. The whole Boston city. Now you can see it's a little bit more specific, but you can see right here it's getting better right even though the reach is the same but because it's a little bit more narrower we'll have a better chances of getting this amount of people so now we can even go specifically within it so let's go ahead and select hamburg right boston or hamburg and concord let's go ahead and add that as well so now we have two locations over here you can see much much more narrower reach over here we can even add columns as well and we can even in decrease the size or the radius size over here as you can see it depends on you so now you can see it increased the total amount so now from 500 to 1.6k it's now 600 to 1.8k so this is how it will look like but you would have to increase your budget as well it's going to be a little bit more expensive so then you can go ahead and add the audience type so audience suggestions as well so you can add ages so you can be let's say from the ages between 18 to 40 let's do 40 right and we can also add different types of demographics or interest if you click on browse you can select them so we have demographic so the type of demographic you want so you got education lifestyle parents and all of that you've got interest so what type of interest do you want to target or your ads focused on and then you also have behaviors as well so you can set up the demographic as well although these suggestions but you know it depends on you and then you have placements so choose where you want your ad uh, to appear so here you have advantage plus placement so you can go ahead and click over here so if you want you can go with manual placement here you will you can see where your ad would look like so it depends on you so you've got feed you've got story and reels 
you've got search results and many many more so choose however you like it and you can even select the platforms at all so we'll just leave facebook out and we'll just select instagram and i think we'll go with the advantage you know leave it as it is and then you have the ad creative here where you basically upload your ad either it's your video or message or a post or whatever it is you have to upload it over here and then you have the destination so and here is going to be your main objective you're basically adding people so that they can come over to your website so add the website link over here and display link is going to be over here and after that you just simply go ahead and click on publish and then go ahead and add your payment methods add in your credit cards your budget and you should be good to go so that's how you do it that's how you run ads on instagram so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and having said that thank you guys for watching and until next time take care and goodbye